Hey, doing everybody? This is P and D five ten ten. You can call me Pete, whichever you like. Uh, just want to uh, make one point before we get into this video. Recently, it has been brought to my awareness that there's been certain individuals creating replicant accounts of mine. Some going by the name of P and D six ten ten or P and D. I O I O or you know some variation of of that and trying to coerce information and I think mostly my password to this account to the main account here the original like I'd give my account to someone you know a subscriber or somebody like you know how stupid I, how stupid do you think I am but uh I think that's what they were trying to you know milking information from certain people I correspond with via YouTube you know just being idiots so I just wanted to bring that to light that my my account didn't get hacked or I didn't lose my password as they've been stating on my page so I just wanna say that with that being said I'm not gonna give it any more thought or say anything else about it because I'm not gonna give these individuals the attention they desperately crave it's the best way to disarm them and piss them off so they just forget about them so without further ado here this lady, uh, I found this footage, her name is Sandra Fluke, she's a Georgia, Georgetown University law student, she's really nobody significant within the materialistic realm of the media, but she is a shapeshifter nonetheless, as she exhi she's exhibiting some major tooth morphing here, which we're going to view, some great examples, that's the main anomaly we're going to be focusing on here, so, just want to make that clear. So you can primarily focus on this area here, and right off the bat here you can see the fangs, and you'll see them come and go. And this is very significant because you can see the morphing actually take place from them going to normal, back to the reptilian state, you know, to the to the fang state. It's very distinct and very, very anomalous. So here you can see the claws, I mean the claws, the fangs rather, and watch them coalesce. You watch them come and go. There's also some various extreme polygonal eye rides. As the eye rides are supposed to be. You know, there is, when a person blinks, there is some variation of them being slightly angular. But, I mean, when they look like stop signs and have angles at them, right angles, at various different points, I mean, it's just completely anomalous. And we'll see some of that, some instances of that as well. But mostly we're going to be focusing on the teeth, so focus your attention in that region. See, you can see this tooth right here starting to emerge. It's very, very, very prominent. And you can see the polygonal irises as well. Irides, rather. Sorry. There it is again. It seems to, the tooth sometimes separates from the rest of the teeth and it sort of isolates itself. It's just very strange the way it comes and goes. And it's very strange, what's even stranger is how someone could not notice this. Like you can see them start, two of them start to emerge now. I mean, normally, I guess these teeth would be masked. I guess the if there's a masking program in effect, it's failing in that particular region for it to reveal such defined, sharp fa uh, fangs. Normally, there's some type of pixel blocking mask that obscures that, makes it less defined. I know there's a deblocking filter in effect that if you turn off, you can see the shape shifting a lot more clear. I'm not very well versed on how to do that. I know Frequency Fence is very knowledgeable in that area and very knowledgeable in that process. I think she even explains it 
in a video as well. I'm not too sure which video. I think it's the. I don't know. I'm not too sure. You'd have to scroll through them. But again, focus in this area of her mouth right here on this side of the microphone, as this is the area that's where the shape shifting is most most prominent. Here you can see some eye morse a little bit too. But you can see how very sharp and defined they are once again. I mean, even through this video camera, you have the option to view through 480p as well, so I suggest you watch this through the 480p setting. Here's a rare instance where her mouth is completely separate from the microphone, the microphone's not obscuring it in any way, so you can see some, some morphing whilst viewing her, her full mouth. Her full mouth. <laughs> You saw in that region right there how it just became very sharp and then it just, like I said before, disappears. Now you see in this area how these two teeth are completely separate and there's a big space in between them and one big gnasher in the middle too. And you see how they're just completely separate from the rest of her teeth. It's very strange. Very noticeable. See how sharp that one just became. Talk about gnashes, huh? Jesus. Like I said, if you watch this video a couple times and you focus on the eyes rather than the teeth. You'll see some eye anomalies as I see them coming and going. But, I mean, the tooth morphing is just so prominent that it's just... It steals, you know, the majority of your attention. It demands the majority of your attention, rather. It's a better choice of words. And she's also exhibiting this tooth that you've seen. If you watch a video I did a while ago, a couple of years back... It's called U2 Reptilians, and it was uh, a user by the name of Crabby Dog Tricks. You'll see he exhibits the same, the same type of teeth anomaly, or in particular that, that same prominent tooth that's far off to our right, the right corner of her mouth, or our left, which is very prominent. You see that tooth a lot, and uh, she moves her head here. It's very prominent in, uh, in that video as well. You see some similarities. All right, let's fast forward a little bit here. She's got a smile on her face, so we can't see them reptilian gnashes. All right, here we can start to see. Let me bring the play speed icon up. Again, I apologize. This is a very tedious way of trying to bring about this icon here or this set of controls. But here we go. You can see the teeth start to emerge. Various teeth come and go, get bigger. Her lips also seem to experience some morphing too as well, especially in the area where the teeth are morphing, I'd imagine. You can see like pieces of her lips just become very anomalous as well. You can see the teeth, all, also those teeth that become very sharp when they come and go, when they disappear, it seems like they merge into the lips sometimes. See? Look how big it is there. Watch how it merges into the lip, but then it protrudes just as just as clearly as it 
he merges. Try to close up on it as much as I can without getting it blurred or distorted because this is a cheap camera. So there's really so much you can do. Or so far you can zoom before it starts getting shitty. You can see the width, how the width dissipates and they become very thin, you know, they, they fluctuate from thin to wide or wide to thin also. If you, if you pay close attention, here's a good shot. Now you see that tooth, how the tooth, the tooth that's isolated from the rest of her teeth, how it forms a fang reaching all the way to the top of the lip there and you can see the space in between where the rest of her teeth start and end view from a further out angle Here we see that tooth again become more prominent, more fang-like. The other teeth seem to be obscured by some type of masking. You just can't really make them out. But like I said, if there is a masking program in place, it's failing on that part of her mouth. Horribly. Miserably. <laughs> She opened her mouth up pretty wide there. We were able to get a good look at all her teeth. And what's even stranger than the shape shifting though is those who don't notice it. Sometimes it's just so far outside of people's paradigms they can't accept it. I guess it's hard enough to get them to take hold of the planetary conspiracies, the five sense conspiracies, never mind the extraterrestrial, the paranormal, or cryptozoological things of that nature. Just too far outside of their zone. I guess they're a lot more comfortable attributing these fangs to pixelation or some type of I don't know, maybe she's ha she's having a bad a bad tooth day. Yeah you saw a fang just in that frame before like the one on the, you know, this side of the mouth we've been seeing, you've seen it emerge on the, on her left side, all right. Now the microphone obscures that side of her mouth, so you can only see in the, the right, or left. Well, I hope I was able to capture some good examples of this tooth morphing. These are some of the best examples I've seen. And to think, I just typed in C-SPAN and this popped up right off the bat. Well, hope you enjoyed, hope this raised you helped raise your awareness and be well and be in peace everyone.